Minnesota's Big 12 win this season? Um, it feels good. Uh, it feels like um, we finally got a win in the win column, um, and we worked for it. We also believe that it's the first domino of many. Uh, we felt like we just had to get one, and hopefully it trickles off to a couple. Isaac, you've come close to double doubles before, but does it feel nice to finally have one on your belt? I mean, it, I can't really explain the feeling. I kind of just feel like it's just kind of like it is what it is to me type of deal. I mean, I don't kind of I don't play really just for my stats. I'm just glad that we got came out here and got the win today. That's what makes me feel really good. What do you guys think was the major thing that did make the difference in this game? Um, our effort carried on to the second half. I feel like um, a lot of games this year, especially in the conference play, we've had a great first half, and the second half we came out there flat. Today we started off slow in the second half a little bit, but we learned from our pre uh, previous mistakes, and so we was able to catch ourselves and amp it up. And luck I mean, not luckily, uh, due to our hard work, we was able to finish off the game. How was that spurt from Caleb? There, uh, you know, he dives the, the loose ball, leads to three, has a couple putbacks. How that kind of spark things? I mean, it's great. Um, we pride ourselves as a as a unit. Uh, when one guy steps down um, and another guy comes in, that they're going to provide a spark and up the ants, uh, the uh, the tempo and the um, competitive spirit within the game. They go up it, and you're always playing great. And then when you're uh, needed a break when KB steps in. He he took that that great play that you always do and even upped it even more. And um, when one guy steps down or one guy needs a breather, we feel like we have a strong unit where someone can come in and do the job as well. As a seventy year assist came in the first half. Uh, what were they doing defensively that was allowing you to distribute the way you were able to do? Um, to be honest, I felt like they was really challenging us to make plays off our ball screen. Me and your and so. I mean, if people was going to stay hugged up on Diz, I just really just lobbed it over the top to Yorn. And once they adjusted to that, you know, I was able to get in the lane and just really find people that was moving around. And then definitely us getting stops in transition. We were pushing it. And shooters like Diz and Keelan that was hitting, not getting to the spots they need to get to with his shots. In the first half, you had a no look to Yorn where you're looking to Keelan in the corner. Is that probably one of your favorite assists so far? I don't remember the play. No. <laughs> First you had 11 of them, yeah. You looked at Keith, <laughs> you looked at Keelan in the corner, but you threw it to your. Okay, somebody's not to show me that. All right, it ended in a dunk, so just look for one of your yeah, dunks. Somebody's not to show me that. I want to see that. For sure. How about that block on Bain? Did you like that one? Oh yeah, I remember that play. Um, yeah, I did like that play a lot. I like that play a lot. I thought he was gonna get it off. He has a high release, but. How important was your assignment against Bain, and how much did you not want a repeat of last month's loss to TCU? Um, I took a personal pride coming into the game, um, guarding him, and I feel like I did a really good job. But, you know, it was just me that slowed him down. My team helped a lot, too, you know, showing on certain down screens, um, picking him up in transition, different things. It wasn't just me. It was a team effort. So we all came out here today and did a good job on slowing him down. Thomas, your, um, your points per game has went up since you've been coming off the bench. How has it been just embracing that role and being that spark that, that they need? Uh, whatever the team needs, I'm willing to do. Um, but I kind of, kind of can like sneak into the game and see the flow of the game and see where I'm gonna get shots where, where guys are helping off uh, when Ice and you are doing their ball screens. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just uh, finding a good rhythm right now, and my teammates have done a great job finding me and setting great screens. Um, playing with a point guard like Ice makes my job a lot easier. So, um, kudos to him. Was tonight a little bit of a gut check? You don't have Lindy, Avery, Chris gets hurt. Um, during that spurt in the second half, too, you've got two guys with four fouls. Yor has three. Is this a gut check moment? Um, I wouldn't. I don't know if I want to say a gut check moment. I mean, it was a um, back against the wall. Uh, what are we made of? But um, I think we pride ourselves this whole year on having guys that can step up when when guys go down. Um, that's how we practice. Um, everybody competes. Uh, and, you, and you can just see that. I mean, our, our walk around D. Mitchell had the highest plus minus, and uh, he guards me almost, he guards Ice and I almost every day, and uh, he's, he's, a, he's a great defender, didn't take any shots, and guys just embody their roles. So um, when guys step step up, that, that's, what, that's what we need them to do, and uh, I guess it was D and Keelan and KB, it was their night to step up. Did Keelan separate shoulders? Is that kind of what happened there? 
came back in and hit a three point. I know, but he looks like something. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell him that he hurt himself. He's fine. <laughs> Isaac, you mentioned how in the second half you all stopped yourself from collapsing. Was there any certain moment where you noticed the guys or just everyone kind of getting it together? Or what do you think really made that happen? I mean, I believe they came out, they hit a three-pointer, got an offensive rebound and like had a dunk and cut it down to three, I think. And then, you know, Coach Boyd, he called a timeout. And while the staff was talking, you know, the players was talking amongst each other. And we was just like, you know, we've been here before. We've made those mistakes. Let's, let's learn from it right here. Right now, it's going to define um, pretty much. Felt like this game was really on our season, how it could go, you know? And we just took it to heart and came out here and we learned from our mistakes and was able to get the win. Thomas, what was the energy like in the locker room after? And what was Coach Boynton's message like to you all? Uh, after the game or mm-hmm. after, after Yeah, the after game? the game. Um, it was positive. Um, we have a, a positive uh, demeanor about ourselves, uh, win or lose. Um, and we're, we're, as a team, and as Coach Mike has preached to us, we're, we're all process-driven. We're not result-driven. So even though that we got the win tonight, uh, we still need to uh, go back to the drawing board, learn from our mistakes, and uh, practice tomorrow, and continue to compete with urgency and stuff like that. So um, we were obviously happy to get a W, but make no mistake, we're, we're all about the process. So uh, we feel like this is the first domino that's going to trickle off to some more, but. Um, the process is, is what is what led us to this W. You guys almost beat Baylor here. Now you go to their place, coming off a win. Is that is that kind of good motivation going into their place? Um, I mean, it, if showing up to the number one team in the country, if that doesn't give you enough motivation, I don't know what will. Um, they're a great ball club. Um, they're well coached. Uh, they have a lot of weapons. Um, but we feel we're very confident and we're very positive and. Um, we go into every game zero and zero, and we try to try to out tough and out play, and just compete as hard as we can, and hopefully the the ball falls in our favor. But if they don't, we'll continue to do it.